dudes rock. I invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination and respectfully decline to answer your question. Let me check some voicemails here. My voicemails are full. Hey, Martin. Uh, my name is Todd. I'm calling because um, I uh, reached out to you because I, I think it'd be a great idea for you to appear on the Come Town podcast. Nick Mullen, he's a personality, comedian, uh, excellent stand-up, really, really stand-up guy. He's a podcast with a couple of other gay guys. Uh, gay guys, um, I don't know if they're gay, but a couple of other guys, and um, just uh, wanted to see if you uh, would be interested. You could reach out to Nick or any of the guys. Gay, you say. The Come Town uh, podcast. Uh, so, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks, Mark. Hello? Hi, this is Martin Shikali returning your call. Oh, hey Martin, how are you? Good, how are you? Uh, not bad. How can I help you? Um, okay, so yeah, I called earlier, um, I just want to, uh, ask if you'd be interested in doing a Come Town podcast. Oh, I'm not interested. You're not? No. Okay, they're like, uh, like Nick and the guys, they're all big fans of yours. Um, did you did you misunderstand me? There were Wu-Tang fans, fans too. Okay, I don't know um, if you didn't hear me. I, I'm not interested at all. It, okay. You're not interested? No. Okay, um, is there like, all right, cool. I, I mean, I think it'd be pretty, I think like you'd really like it if you checked it out. Be, what do you know it's about really me? Good. Why Why would you, why do you think I would like it specifically? Well, I just know from you, like, your, uh, like, your general, like, persona online and stuff. What? It seems like you have a pretty good sense of humor. Right. And, uh, and you're, like, probably a comedy fan. Uh, not really. These guys really... What's that? Not really. You're not a comedy fan? No. Well, I mean, you just, like, you, 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 you're you funny, you know? I think you're funny. Okay. Uh, based on... Well, I'm, like, I'm a pretty serious person, man. I gotta say, I spend almost all, all my day working. Well, yeah, kind, but, kind of a, just a working stiff, you know. I, I like a good joke, like everybody else. But well, I mean, I think that it would be. I mean, it's a, it's like a cool opportunity. I, you know, you don't have to do it, obviously. But the guys uh, would love to have you on, and I think that like I'll pass. Like they're, they're pretty chill guys. I I'm, sure they're, very, I'm sure they're. I'm sure they're chill guys. I'm sure they're lovely, what? but I'm sure they're lovely, but I'll, I'm going to have to pass. Uh, amongst other things, the name of the podcast is kind of revolting. Come Town? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, you know, I mean, I think, like, if you're part of uh, someone that can be offended by words, yeah, I think that's, uh, yep, that's I'm, funny. But I think I'm, I'm, that, I'm that kind of person. Uh, unfortunately, I have to pass because of that reason. Because of the name? Yeah. Well, if they change the name of the podcast, would you do it? Well, let me know when they do that. Okay, so what, what do you, okay, so all right, can I call you back uh, with a new name? If they permanently change the name of their podcast and there's no references at all to the, that former name, that, ish, that issue, well, let, let me finish, yeah. stop interrupting me, please. Yeah. I. I gave, you the cur I gave you the courtesy of calling me back, of calling you back. It. I appreciate it. Um, the first hang-up I have with this, which is an immediate disqualifier, is the name. But I, even if the okay. name were, were Martin Shkreli fan webcast, I'm not sure that I'd be interested because I don't know anything about it. And furthermore, there's nobody connected to me that I know. For instance, I don't know who you are. I don't know who the host is. I don't know. And let me, please, please, please. Why, why are you do this to me? Can you just let me finish? No, Thank you. Um, please don't do that again. The there's there's nobody. You're doing it again. Uh, there's nobody that I know. Not you. Not the hosts of the podcast. That I personally know that are in any way, shape, or form connected to me. Do you understand? So they can't vouch with any credibility that this podcast is worth entertaining. I hope that makes sense to you. If there, okay. if it was someone who it was my cousin or my media advisor or just my best friend. And they said, gosh, this is a wonderful podcast. And it, it absolutely makes sense to do. And that's why, by the way, in general, the way these types of things are done is people approach, not the person directly, but instead they approach the media advisor 
the the uh, PR advisor, of which I have many, some of whom I have told the public yeah. who they are, and and they approach them immediately. My guess is if they were approached, my advisor would immediately say, because of the name of this podcast, he absolutely cannot go on the show. I've been on other shows like The Breakfast Club, which is a little bit more controversial and uh, edgy. I have no problem doing something like that. I went on Pardon My Take, okay. the Barstool Sports podcast, which was fabulous. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure that this might be of similar quality, but without someone who can vouch for it yeah. um, to, to me and my staff, and without okay, well, a higher viewership okay. number, quite frankly, I looked at the host's Twitter followers. He does not have very many Twitter followers. In fact, I outnumber his Twitter followers by almost tenfold, which is you know rather well, embarrassing, I mean, considering that considering that, a, considering that I'm 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 a please be quiet, considering that I'm I'm just a lowly business person, and he's 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 a uh, he's in the media. I mean, his job is to get people to listen to him. My job is to do my my job for shareholders, not uh, to get people to notice me. In right. fact, I actively try not to be noticed um, as far as I can be. So in any event, I, I must decline. I appreciate it. You have not been very well, convincing can I, at all. Can I, can I just respond? Can I respond? Yeah, of course. I, I heard you. Yeah. You're, okay. you're wasting right. my time. But. All right. Yeah, I, I know your time is valuable, and I really appreciate the call back. A couple things. First of all, um, not reaching out to media advisors. You know, the fact is that we are young people in comedy. We've developed a cult following uh, that's small but is devoted. And um, I think that it's like, uh, in terms of a branding, I don't know if it's going to be good for you in terms of media or PR, but I think that it'd be something that's kind of fun. And okay, uh, but you 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 still you still you still seem to. I put you on mute so I can't hear you and nobody else can hear you. The uh, you still seem to be failing to understand the concept that what you think, and I know this might be hard for you to understand, but just stop and I beg you to think about this. What what you think may not be what other people think. For instance, I think I'm the most handsome man on the planet, but not every woman thinks that. It sucks. It fucking sucks. It's true. I think I'm the smartest person in the world. Unfortunately, not everyone else thinks that. Do you understand now that because you think something might be fun, that I might not think it's fun? Does that make sense? I okay. Martin, do you no, 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 I, I just want you to understand. You guys are calling me, and I'm, clearly I'm taking whatever phone calls, I'm calling people back, but your hypothesis is that you think something's going to be fun. And I'm, I put you on mute, nobody can hear you. The When I say you speak, you can speak. You think that, I can't hear you. I can hear you, like, very faintly with, like, three decibels, like, saying, Martin, Martin, wait, 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 shut the fuck up. The, uh, nobody can hear you. I can't hear you. I can hear you failing to speak because I put you on no volume. I can hardly understand you. Um, so you should, you would be best served listening instead of speaking for once in your fucking life. You can't call someone and say, I think that you're going to do, you're going to enjoy this. Especially if you don't know that person. You have no fucking idea if I'm going to enjoy it. And the problem is this isn't a free call option, as we would say in finance. I have to invest my time to actually experience this thing, to take, take my time out of my day, and it might backfire. I actually might specifically not enjoy it. And, and I have these big books that I got to read to do my job effectively, and my employees are depending on me, my shareholders are depending on me, and you want me to stop and take a chance that I might have fun? I go fuck a supermodel. I know I'll have fun. And I still don't do that because I have a responsibility. That's what the real world is about. Maybe if you stopped the dead-end job of being a comedian, you'd actually understand some of this shit. You have 90 seconds left before my 10 minutes is up. He's on Paris cover up. Martin. 90 Martin. seconds. Okay, 90 seconds. First of all, are you familiar with the comedian David Cross? No. Okay. Uh, he did Mr. Show. He was on. You're wasting your. You're now 60 seconds. Martin. 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 I have a question. I have a question for you. You have when 60 you were seconds. On the Club, okay. When you were on the Breakfast Club, here's my question for you. Okay. For you. 
You have 50 seconds now. Go ahead. Were you a jock, a geek, a freak, a loser, or were you the Chinese one? What are you talking about? On The Breakfast Club. The fucking movie Breakfast Club. Oh, I, I was on a, uh, I've never seen that movie. I was on a, uh, a radio show called The Breakfast Club. You fucking idiot, you retarded idiot. You have 30 seconds. You piece of shit. Are you upset that you've been unable to convince me of virtually anything? I'm sure that's tough for you. Say I love you. Hello? Hey, is Mark? Yes. Mark, uh, I don't know if you saw, but I, I said if, if uh, my tweet gets 100 uh, retweets, you'd come on uh, the podcast. Um, I didn't agree to that. I mean, you can't make a unilateral uh, decision. No, I know. It's just a suggestion, but obviously... Okay, uh, I've taken your suggestion into consideration, and you should kiss my ass. Well, you should come on the podcast. Man. No! Actually, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I actually shouldn't. How about that? Why shouldn't you? No, Because I don't give a fuck about your stupid podcast. Leave me alone. You should come on the podcast. No, you, you're repeating yourself. I... I'll go back to if you're gonna repeat yourself. I'll repeat myself. I don't give a fuck about your stupid podcast. I'm never gonna go on your podcast. I don't watch your podcast. I don't know who the fuck you are. So go fuck yourself. That work? That's good. That's good. The fuck that? I don't even know. I'll go on Joe Rogan's podcast. The fuck is your podcast? Get the fuck out of here. It's bullshit. Yes, it's Martin Scarley returning your phone call. Martin, what's up, my dude? How can I help you? Um, I'm the publicist for uh, Comcon. It's a, it's a semen-based podcast. And we were wondering if we could have you on sometime this week to discuss your love life, your uh, not, how you look not, at I'm not interested. I, I could not be... What's that? I could not be less interested. Why not let... Well, how what make you... Uh, less in, what could you be less interested in than us? Nothing? You're serious about that? I have, I, there's very, I am absolutely not interested in joining the podcast. So you're less interested in that than, uh, killing more people with AIDS? Would you say? Oh, uh, do you know a lot about pharmaceuticals? I, I'm actually, uh, yeah, I'm Walgreens. I'm Stavros Walgreens. No, I'm sorry, you, you're, you, you want to discuss drug pricing? Uh, yeah, drug pricing, whatever, whatever you So want. tell me about drug pricing. Pretty open-ended podcast. No, no. I can't, I, gotta, I can't let you, I can't do it on the phone, buddy. You gotta have you on yeah, the phone. It doesn't sound like you know anything about drug pricing. What's that? doesn't sound like you know anything about pharmaceuticals. Buddy, stop ducking the question. We no, no, I, I'm asking you, the, I'm asking you the question. You, you think I kill people with AIDS drugs? Yeah, well, look. I think so, right? Are you the guy who uh, made a drug that kills four people? I'm not fed up on current events, if I'm going to be honest with you. Do you want to um, talk about that, know? or do you want to just talk at me? Yes, I would love to talk with and at you both, but on the podcast, dude. No, I I don't care about I don't care I don't I don't, I don't care about your I don't care about your podcast, but help me understand what what you're talking about with respect to. You're talking about AIDS drugs? What do you mean? What do you mean, what I mean? Look, dude, I don't, like, I don't appreciate this tone right now. I'm being very polite and offering you a free reign on a very successful podcast. It's not a very successful <laughs> podcast. It's actually it's a me. irrelevant me, podcast. You know. But You're coming at me kind of a little disrespectful, I'm going to be honest with you. Well, I just want to understand what you meant by killing AIDS patients. I... I was call just kind of calling you a piece of shit in general, you know? I mean, I think that's... But why? Uh, honestly, it, does, it mostly has to do with your face and your general demeanor. Like, oh. kind of the way you're speaking right now is annoying. But I think what we would love to do is hash all this out. Kind it, of sounds like, it sounds like you're, you're similar to your fans. You have a very limited ability to, to rationalize and think through information as it comes that's at you. The, beauty. the great The great yeah. philosopher okay. Bayes... Uh, the great philosopher Bayes came up with... on the podcast. I don't know if you can even uh, pretend to be intellectual for half a second. I'm try uh, look, I'm not trying to give it away, dude. We're out here for a while, Periscope. 
I just want to understand why you don't. I just want to understand why you don't like me. You know, and if you don't like me, why would you want me on your podcast? Can I be honest with you? Uh, you should always be. You should. You should always be honest with me. I'm trying to get to know the real Mar, the real Marty. Do people call you Marty ever? No. Okay, the real Mar. I'm trying to get to know the real Mar in an in-depth podcast style interview. Well, I just want to understand what you meant by drug pricing. See, you get hung up on you. See, okay, so I'm learning a little bit about you. This seems to be an issue that is very important to you. Yeah, you pharmaceuticals. Know, pharmace- I spend my whole life in pharmaceuticals, yeah. It sounds like you have some misconceptions about it. On my podcast or what? Are you just, are you just trying to, you know? Who, who is I'm this? Okay. I'm sorry, who is this? This is Stavros Walgreens. Oh, who? Oh boy, Mark. Listen, are you going to come down or not? Can we I've, I've told you a hundred times I have no interest in doing it whatsoever. All right. But well, I do, I do want to talk to you about shame. pharmaceuticals. Sounds like you have some misconceptions I, I don't, about... I don't want to talk about it over the phone, dude. I got, I got, you know, I'm a busy guy. I see. So you have the time to ins- you have the time to insult me, but you don't have the time to, yeah, to back it up. I do. Back what? Do you want me to talk about? Because you don't know what you're talking about. You, you're parroting, you know, something you heard in the media about drug pricing, but you're clueless on the subject. I'm look, dude. Why am I wrong? <laughs> am I am I wrong? You don't know anything about pharmaceuticals and pricing. Are you and- going to do calm down? I've told you I'm not, uh, but my problem with you no, isn't about then, hey, your silly website. Mark, Mark, uh, your, my problem with Mark. you is that you, you, you seem to have some animosity towards me about some pharmaceutical thing, but you also don't know anything about pharmaceuticals, and I'm trying to resolve that, that cognitive dissonance of stupidity that you're presenting. Oh, Jesus, Come on, man. What are we talking? Uh, well, you tell me why, why don't you like me? What's, what's the issue with pharmaceuticals? I might consider your show if you talk to me like a human being. Well, at, at this show? point, I mean, you're, 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 you're such a, you're flabbergasting me with your inability to communicate. For a PR person, you should be a better, you should be better equipped. Maybe come down would be more successful if they found somebody else. That's pretty good. All right, we'll think about it. Um, all right, so. No, no, you, you missed the point. I said that I can, I, I strongly, I strongly, yeah. cons- I'm telling you, you, you just, talk, keep, I'm, str- I'm strongly considering it, but you're not explaining to me what your hangups are about pharmaceuticals. You said something about aid pricing. It was sort of a, it sort of was a quick, quick quip. It was like a, a slight, but I want to, I want to get, let's get back to that point and tell me more about pharmaceuticals. What do you want me to tell you about Are you the pharmaceutical guy? You tell me, buddy. No, no, you said that I I like to kill AIDS patients with high drug prices. Is that, is that what you said? <laughs> All right, man, I, this fucking sucks. Are you going to do a fucking podcast or not, dude? What, what are you doing here? I'm, t- right. I'm telling you, tell me more about that, and I'll do your podcast. That's it? That's all it'll take? Well, I, you, it's, it's, you're impossible to talk to. I mean, why would anyone want to do a, a communications device of any kind? Podcast, web, I mean, you're, you're, you're like, this is like pulling teeth. You're the worst communicator uh, okay. I've heard. Tell me what you meant by Denver, that. Of Far- all time? Pharmaceuticals. So, so far today, pharmaceuticals. No what, way. What, There's what's... somebody worse. You, you're, you're a buffoon. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, uh, yeah, you say, okay. Are you a college student? What are you looking at? Tuesday or Wednesday? No, no. I, I want to understand what you meant by the pharmaceutical price increases and HIV and stuff like that. <laughs> What do you know? Um, what, what do you know about Martin Shkreli? <laughs> Come on, man! Are you gonna do the fuck up? I mean, I don't, I don't even understand what we're doing here. I'm asking you a question. You're not answering it. I don't want to. I, I don't fucking want to talk about this. I want to talk about. <laughs> it sounds like we're in an impasse. You want to talk about something that I don't want to talk about. I want to talk about something that you don't want to talk about. One of us has to give ground, and then the other will give ground. I'm telling you that if you give some ground, I'll do your podcast. But if you don't give any ground, we're okay. going to be at a stalemate. Let's give ground. Let's give ground. Okay. So, what do you know about pharmaceuticals and Martin Shkreli? Oh, jeez. Um, you know, uh, Bob Bi- Look, I don't, I don't know much. Martin, I'm trying to learn. You said something about HIV and killing people, so... Yeah, what- yeah, yeah. What do you mean by that? 
um, you know, it's, you know, I don't know, I wanted to get a rise. Look, I'm, I'm being open and honest with you, Mark. That Not was, really. You're, you're, all you're doing is saying my name over and over again. You have to come up with some coherent thought that expresses your opinion. Maybe I'll give you a start. You heard about me on the news, yeah? You've been on the news? Uh-huh. Keep going. You can do it. Just take whatever's going on in your brain, put down the beer and the football game, and just focus. You can talk. And what do you have, what do you have against beer and football? Nothing. I just need you to focus on uttering some sentences here. You sound like you're you sound like you're a pothead or something. Just just can you can you communicate at all? Say something, dude. Yeah, um you're in the news, you bought a, you know you well, kind of, I'm, not a, I'm not a bright guy, Martin. I know. <laughs> it's obvious to anyone listening. All right. So we got it. We're, we're agreeing. I but but you you know. insulted you you, you, ins you insulted me a little bit there. You've been insulting me this whole time, dude. No, because you started. You started. Right, well, you told me you didn't want to do my podcast. Right. I, I got I got hurt. I got hurt. And I want to build now. Okay, so you ins when you insulted me, what what were you trying to do? Get me on the podcast by insulting me? Ah, uh, jeez, we're not going anywhere. You're not doing the podcast. Just kidding, you, right? I I you have to communicate if you want me to do the podcast. I wanted to understand what your thoughts on drug pricing were. You said that I, you seem to insinuate that I. That my drug pricing policies. I'm sorry if I, if this conversation is annoying. Hello.